So today I wanted to do a video showing you what I eat in a day, but today is slightly different because I'm deciding that today I'm gonna to challenge myself and try to do raw vegan the entire day. I know that there are a lot of benefits to eating raw and um, there are a lot of YouTubers and people out there that do it, so it's not like it's impossible. Um, I don't think it's something that I'm going to personally do like on a daily basis, so in no means is this like the first day of my like raw journey is like no it's not happening but I wanted to try it for a day and you know if I like it and if I find that it's not too too challenging um, I might start to incorporate it you know do it like maybe once a week or you know try to do raw until four once a week I don't freaking know but I wanted to try it um, and see how it goes but yeah if you guys know any blogs or youtubers I know I watched a few of them that are raw um, send them to me because I need like meal inspiration so I would love to hear your suggestions but yeah it's already a little bit difficult to do this because it is like snowing outside it is like Narnia outside and I already want like just a big bowl of oatmeal or a big bowl of soup but I'm like nah we can't do that so I'm just gonna start off today probably just with a smoothie bowl so if you want to see how I make my smoothie bowl then just keep on watching Okay, so into my Nutribullet cup of choice, I'm gonna start off with adding in some frozen pineapple. It doesn't have like too much taste to it, so I like that because I can add kind of like whatever I want into my smoothie bowl and I'll take on that flavor. So I'm gonna add in a couple handfuls of that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some spinach. Just a little bit of that. Get them vitamins in. Um, I'm gonna also just add in a little bit of almond milk. Almond milk is raw, right? Like, it's just water mixed with almonds. Yeah, no, I, I know that this is raw. This has to be raw. I should look it up, should I? You know what, it's, it's raw because I've seen people make almond milk and like it's just water and almonds. <sighs> I hope I already didn't mess up. <laughs> I'm also gonna add in some cocoa powder. I kinda want a chocolate smoothie bowl because then it'll just feel like more luxurious and you know, like I'm eating something like sweet and decadent. I'll also do some of this true nut powder. This is basically like PB2 because I feel like everyone has PB2. Well, I have true nut. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just powdered peanuts. Whoa, is this, is this raw? Roasted nuts, so it's not. Okay, so we're not gonna add that. I don't know, like this is the thing. Like if you're raw and you're watching this, you gotta help me. You gotta tell me like, oh no, you can eat that. Like, <laughs> or no, you can't, so. I don't know, I've never done raw for a day, so we're just testing this out. I know that dates are raw, okay? That for a fact, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna add two dates. Um, and then, I think that's it, pretty much. I'm just gonna give this a whiz. I'll probably have to add in more almond milk to make sure it blends up properly, but I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my little chocolate concoction. Looks like that, I don't know. What did you expect? <laughs> but I'm doing a smoothie bowl also today because I, one thing that I do find with smoothie bowls is it feels like I'm eating more of a meal and less of a drink. Like with my smoothies, I always feel like I have to have some kind of side with it. So I have to always have to, you know, have some toast with like vegan butter on the side. But today, it's just gonna be this smoothie bowl. So I'm gonna put on some shredded coconut and then I have some cut up make, oh, have some cut up mango. I'm gonna probably cut up more mango. I couldn't find the other mango, so I'll do that in a second. Um, and then I have some raw almonds. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is going to be my first meal of the day as raw vegan. All right guys, we're gonna live taste test this. Oh, first I gotta take a photo for Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm wiping my phone. Um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should really get to that because it's good times. All right, I'm not really like that excited about this. I think breakfast has always been the hardest part for me as a vegan as well um, to find like meal inspiration. But as a raw vegan, it's like more difficult because I feel like all I eat is smoothie bowls. So I really do need suggestions on what to eat for breakfast as raw if I'm gonna continue doing this like once a week or something, so. 
tastes like a smoothie bowl. Like there's nothing, yeah. it's not bad. It tastes like chocolate ice cream, it's awesome. But, mm, you know, I eat like a smoothie every day for breakfast. So I'm gonna go eat this and I will report back to you when I eat next. So it is now like almost 12 o'clock and it's time for lunch. I um, did a little bit of a workout for like half an hour and I took a shower as you can tell. So now it's time for lunch. I'm just like exhausted and I just wanna eat. So for lunch today, I'm having a burrito bowl, which I'm so excited about. Freaking love burrito bowls. This is something like I would eat even if I wasn't doing the whole raw thing today. Um, but of course I'm skipping out on the rice and all that cook stuff so it's gonna be 100% raw um I ended up going to the grocery store in the freaking snow like it was scary the drive but I did it because I really wanted an avocado the things I do for food <sighs> so I'm gonna chop up some romaine lettuce So I'm gonna start off with my pico de gallo. So I'm gonna take one tomato and I'm just gonna cut off the top of that. I don't know how much tomato I wanna use. I'm gonna start off with half and then go from there. I'm gonna leave it at that. If I want more, I'll make more. So I'm gonna put that aside. Then I'm gonna use some lemon. This lemon is kind of old, but I mean, it needs to be used. So I'm gonna take out all the seeds. Okay. And then I'm also gonna add in some red onion. This is just leftover. And then I also have some cilantro here. So I'm just going to roll this up into a little ball and then cut it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just to bring out the flavors. Give this a quick mix. So for the guacamole, I'm gonna take one avocado and hopefully this is ripe enough. I mean, none of the avocados at the grocery store were that ripe. I mean, this will do. I'm gonna add in some lemon juice. I'm gonna add in some red onion. Add in some salt. I like a lot of cilantro. I know it's like one of those things, either you love it or you hate it. I really like cilantro. So I'm gonna add a nice handful of that and I'm gonna give this a quick mash. I just realized this is not enough avocado. So I'm actually just going to use the rest of this. I didn't add any garlic into my pico de gallo and I really like garlic. So I added just a small clove of that and I'm just gonna give that now a quick mix. So I'm gonna wash a can of black beans. So it's time to plate up everything. So I have my romaine lettuce here and I'm gonna add in my guacamole. Nice big clump of it. And then I'll also add in my pico de gallo and a nice handful of black beans. This is really shitty lighting, but I'm hungry. I don't really care. So I'm gonna dig into this bowl. I had to take like a gazillion photos of it. That's like the one thing about being a YouTuber or a food blogger is like the fact you can't just like jump into eating the meal right away because We've got to take like 10,000 photos of it. Oh, I was gonna make a tahini dressing with this, but I don't think we have tahini. I thought we did, but we don't. So it's fine because if I just mix it all together, the guacamole kind of uh, acts like a dressing. Do you see this weird lighting? I'm so sorry. Cheers. Mm. This is so good. If you're struggling for meal inspiration as a raw vegan, you should make this. Because it tastes amazing. I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll talk to you guys when I eat next. I just finished eating that little uh, burrito inspired bowl, um, and I'm still a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna have a banana, um, because these usually fill me up. 
All right, guys, so it's time for dinner. I'm super hungry. It's like now almost 5.30, so I'm going to make some pad thai with um, zucchini noodles. So I'm gonna get started on that. Um, and this is a recipe actually taken from Oh She Glows. So I will li leave a link to the recipe down below. So if you do wanna make this, you can find all the details there. But I'm just gonna quickly go through everything and um, do this quick because I'm really hungry. The spiralizer is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna say that. So I ended up just slicing my carrots because they were just being difficult. So I'm gonna add in all my shredded veg in here. And then I'm also gonna add in some edamame. And that's pretty much it for my veggies. live taste test since I've just tried it but it tastes pretty good for raw food I don't know all right guys so I just finished having my dinner and it was really good like the peanut sauce that I made was like one of the best peanut sauces I've ever had. So you definitely need to check out the Oshi Glows Pad Thai. It's really, really good. And I would make that like peanut sauce, like I would serve that on like any Pad Thai. It doesn't have to be raw. It's just really, really good. So you guys need to check it out. So I finished having dinner and now I'm eating one of these Clementines. Um, kind of just want to like cleanse my mouth. Um, cause there was like garlic in the pad thai and everything. So this is just a little bit refreshing, but pretty much that's like all I'm going to eat tonight. I mean, it's only six o'clock now, so I might get a little hungry throughout the night, but the only thing that I think I'm just going to eat if I get hungry is fruits because I always have fresh cut fruit in my house. So I'll just have that if I get hungry. I do see the benefit in a raw vegan diet. Will I do it every single day? No. Um, I do want to at least go raw once a week or something or start incorporating more raw meals into my diet um so that's something i'm going to challenge myself to do from now on and since i saw that you know there are a lot of recipes that i can use to raw recipes that are really great out there um I'm going to start incorporating those into my diet more and maybe doing more recipes on my blog and my YouTube channel for you guys who are raw vegan out there so you, you know, have inspiration. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more what I eat in a day videos, I'll leave a link to my what I eat in a day playlist so you can go continue watching more of these kind of videos. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. I put out new videos every Sunday and today I have a new blog post up so be sure to check that out. Link will be in the bio down below and I will talk to you guys next Sunday. All right, have a great week guys. Bye. Oh, I thought I totally hit pause, but I guess I did not. <laughs>